Hey guys, Steb here. This is part 3 of me working on the 1 to 144 skill Abigor. Well, I say working, but I pretty much spent the last 3 weeks letting it gather dust. I wanted to start building it a lot earlier, but I got totally distracted by the bow that I'm currently working on. And uh, it doesn't help that I started having second thoughts throughout the past 3 weeks. At the time of painting, I was super happy with the finish, but when looking at it after, there are a few things that I think I could have done a lot better. So far, the leg here looks pretty good, and I gotta say I'm pretty proud of my surface treatment done on this kit. There were seam lines or really big modifications done on every piece, but I still managed to give it a clean, nice finish. I'm especially happy with this torso here. It had a huge seam down the middle, and man it was such a pain in the ass. Uh, I remember being really careful about sanding the crotch area here. It kinda looks like doo doo from behind, but uh, it's gonna be covered anyway. Don't tell the judge that though. And during the build, there's one thing that I did not respect enough, and that's taking proper clearance for pegs and ball joints. After painting, these things get really tight, especially for me since I tend to spray a lot of layers. Oof. That is not a good sound. To loosen it, I just have to scrape the paint off the joints. It won't be visible anyway, but uh, next time I think I'll take some extra time to mask them. This might not be the best time to say this, but in hindsight, I wish I made the greens gradient a little bit more flashy. I'm really happy with the blue, but I think I could have gone a bit more bold with the green. I usually prefer a pretty subtle gradients, but I think because this kit doesn't have much uh, surface detail going on, it might have been okay to let it pop some more. But uh, it's okay, I'll take this as a learning experience for the bow. Okay, so I know I just complained about the green, but uh, looking at the kit as a whole... It's pretty, I, I like it. Oh, and I also made a small stand, cause uh, why not? It's for a contest, so I wanted to put in a little bit more extra effort. And with this, the Abigor is complete. Firstly, I'd like to thank Zaku Aurelius for hosting this contest. It was really fun working on this kit. I didn't have the confidence to work on an older kit like this, so I'm super happy that this kind of gave me the push to get me started. It was so fun working on it that I'm working on an even older kit right now. And lastly, I also want to thank my viewers who have been following me for the past few videos. It's been really nice getting all of your comments and support. And I hope to see you guys again soon when I work on the bow. Bye!